Hey there, this is Ill Factor from BeatAgenemy.com. Welcome to the channel. Now this video is a lesson taken from my Ultimate Producer course. It's a course that I've put together that walks you through every aspect of producing your music professionally. Now I've poured my 23 years of producing music for a living and working with some of today's biggest artists. I put all of that experience into this course. And what's even better is that you can access this course absolutely free. You can click the link below in the description box or visit BeatAcademy.com and become a Beat Academy member today to get access not only to this course, but many other resources and courses and a community that will help you take that next step forward with your music production. And it won't cost you a thing. So what are you waiting for? Jump on, become a Beat Academy member today, and I'll see you on the inside. Okay, so enjoy this lesson. This is the stage that I normally go in with an artist once I've gotten a kind of a demo melody put down, and that's usually in the rough sketch uh, section of working on a song, right? Like we'll just put down, you know, whatever whatever mic we have, we just put our ideas down, and then uh, we'll go and spend time just on the vocals, the actual concept, and that's where really a lot of the grunt work takes place. But right now, what we're going to be doing is walking through the vocal recording and vocal production process. So we're going to start with just tracking down the vocals. Uh, now, normally what I like to do is just have uh, my artists go through the song a couple times and they, you know, so they can kind of do the best of ingraining the, the vocals and the the lyrics uh, as to the best of their knowledge. I want memorization um, to take place because oftentimes when you're reading off the phone off the first time, you can kind of sense that. So we've done this song a couple times, right? Now we've gotten to a good healthy place where you kind of under, memorize the lyrics a little bit and and we're just going to do some tracking so i'm going to walk through recording some vocals we do some comping some layering and all that stuff so let's go ahead and take it from the verse mm -hmm. all right so i'll give you two bars be uh, before we start and if you're noticing these headphones uh what i'm doing to just not have any of the bleed capture into my vocal mic here is i have two headphone outputs on my sound card so headphone one is uh going to the artist and then headphone two is going to me. We're pretty much mirroring and hearing the same exact thing. This is so I won't have any uh, bleed from the music or my studio monitors go into the vocal mic. Now, if you have a separate room, that works out really well. But I've been really loving the vibe and energy that I get with having the artist right behind me in the same room. It's just, just really a lot of flexibility there with the connective tissue of working alongside with an artist. So he likes it. As long as I don't smell bad, uh, well, <laughs> we're good, right? All right, so let's go ahead and track vocals. We're going to start with the verse. Now, I want to make sure that I set my punch in and punch out section. So I'm going to loop the first verse. And here in Ableton Live, I'm going to set my punch in marker. I'm going to take the loop off and punch out. This is going to allow the session to start recording Jared's vocals the minute or the, the second he gets to the desired location, which would be right here in the beginning of the verse. It also helps to make sure that you hit the record enable button on the track you're trying to record, or else you're not gonna record anything. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. My eyes stay closed when I think about you. This feels stampede, trample through my energy. On this plane forever high, who knew you'd be waiting for me Where the stars be It's love So that's great, man. That was really good. good. I thought the section here, the... If we can just do that, punch that in really quick. Yeah. All right, so let me set my punch marker here and I'll hit record. Stay close when that's, I that's great. So I just wanted that one section there. And once I was able to just kind of punch in and punch out, that gives me that one section of the vocal that I wanted to replace. And this is part of vocal comping. This is where we go through the actual vocal and I'll have different takes that I can go ahead and choose from. And it makes really just getting that perfect overall vocal take that much easier when I have a good selection of takes to go through. So normally what I'll do is with Jared, uh, just loop a certain section. I'll get as many takes as I want. 
And then we'll kind of go back, him and I will sit through and, and just pick, hey, that was a good take, that's a good take, and then use that to combine the best vocal take overall. Um, yeah, man, how do you feeling with that? Felt good. All right, cool. Real quick, before we go, I just wanna say, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you're serious about producing your music and you want professional guidance to help you do so, well, become a Beat Academy member today and get access not only just to the Ultimate Producer course, but all the other courses and resources I have there to help you take your next step forward with producing your music. And there's a community, monthly workshops, all from industry professionals helping you take that next step. So what are you waiting for? Become a Beat Academy member today. Click the link below in the description box or visit beatacademy.com and become a member. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in Beat Academy. Take care.